So we have just arrived to Prague and just want to give you a quick room tour. So that is our bed. See, our luggage is just there, a little area with uh, some snacks and safe and everything like that. It's a really nice room, quite modern, really high ceilings, which I like. So the window, TV, and this is where uh, you hang your clothes, obviously. Let's go check out the bathroom. Oh, this is nice. So you've got a nice bathtub. Um, the sink and I'm pretty sure this is going to be yes okay so the toilet and shower so yeah that is our room so we are this is our first day in Prague and we're just going to take a wander around and familiarize ourselves Of course I have to visit the Hermes here. I seriously doubt it guys, but I'm just gonna go in. Maybe they have some Rodeos. Okay, so you guys know I always tell you the truth. And I have to say the service in Hermes Prague was pretty bad. So I always get asked the question, Mel, do you get bad service in luxury? And the thing is that I think everyone does. It doesn't even have to be luxury. It could be just a normal store. Yeah, their service with that particular lady, just very rude, uninterested. But I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe she was having a bad day. Okay, so we were starving, so we had to grab some food. We're in one of the local restaurants. It's called, what is it called? You say it. Kretsch, Kretschmer. It's called Kretschmer. I've got the duck and hubby got the ribs. It looks really traditional and I've got one of their local beers and hubby did too. So let's feast. trying one of the original chimney cakes got ice cream and cream and check them out baking away So the bag I'm using today is my mini Evelyn. I love this bag, such a good bag for travel. And of course I'm using my 7RP insert. This is totally a game changer. It really helps with organization. So I've taken three cards I'm gonna be using and I've just put them in the slots here. I've got some tissues, I've got my mints. And in this compartment, a bigger size iPhone fits, which is perfect. And I'm gonna put my lippy in this slot here. And I've got my Bastia coin purse, which I find very useful for travel. And I want a couple of uh, lollies because I always get a little bit peckish. And also I have got a Band-Aid just in case. So I'll just put it in one of these credit card slots actually. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. So let's go. Hey guys, we are in Chesky. Krumlov. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly and it's about two and a half hours from Prague and we're on a tour at the moment so as you can see behind me this is a heritage protected site and yeah we can't wait to have a walk around explore yeah there's certain things here that are from like the 13th century or something like that but anyway let's go take a wonder
So we're in the centre and you guys know I love a little bit of a market. So, let's take a look around. I might have to try one of these. Let's try a little bit. So I'm gonna try one of their local sausages, which is huge. Look how thick it is. Mustard. Too much mustard. I just got up my nose. We're just walking in the gardens now. The gardens are very, very pretty. Actually, the gardens, the whole area of the gardens is actually bigger than the actual palace, which was very interesting. So it's beautifully manicured and yeah, lots of space. So just a really nice stroll. We're gonna go try some of the old Bohemian gingerbread. Let's go check it out. Mmm, it smells good. What should we have? Look at all the different designs. beautiful is this view and look there's something going on here I think like some they're having a little dance how you pronounce it it is St. Winslow's Law Vineyard it is perfect because today is St. Winslow's Law Day and look at this amazing view behind me of Prague it is such great weather I think it's about like 21 degrees and basically you come in they've got all little stores set up with wine you get this free wine glass and these tokens and you can go experience and taste any wine you want so we're just gonna go explore a little bit now and let's go. So Hubby's going to try the partially fermented wine. Let's 
try. So this is the partially fermented wine, and I have to say, the smell isn't great, but it tastes a lot better than it smells. It kind of smells like cheese, but it tastes much better. So we are now headed to Prague Castle and we're also going to see St. Vitus Cathedral. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let me turn the camera around and show you what I'm seeing. believe how busy this is I mean I know it's a tourist area but it is just packed with tourists Prague is such a pretty city and so we're just going to all the different sections at the moment and it's already busy I can only imagine how busy it is in summer. Here we go guys look how beautiful these stained glass windows are I just love all the different colors it's so vibrant and let me show you this I mean it's all around the cathedral but here is sort of like a red tone based one look at the ceiling sorry it's blowing out there is more over there So we're going to just try some of the honey beer and these are some of the chips. I don't taste no honey in that beer. in front of the linen wall at the moment and look at this amazing graffiti behind me and it is very very popular I'm just gonna pan the camera around there you go so lots of people taking photos here but I can understand why it's very colorful very arty 